Scout report time, and it's not the only number six that we're talking about this weekend. Um, I've got another video coming out, which you need to check out. Um, but it shows the importance of this position, and there is a huge dependence on good players in this position are going to have a massive impact on creating good teams. And it's evolved, obviously, from a, you know, a very much a, a defensive screen, the, the Makaleli role into so much more than that a complete playmaker and the the linchpin of a team and united don't currently have somebody in that position who's got you know the multifaceted skill level that you need to be able to excel in that position as a single pivot on their own we've got players that i think can play in a double pivot i don't think there's anybody that can play that role on their own and allow us to to put on a more offensive kind of uh, performance someone that can dominate duels and also be comfortable progressing the ball and and force the team up a little bit like it, it, basically the, you're looking at a rodri who's doing that for united nobody is doing that i mean there's not even anybody else doing that apart from rodri at city which is a problem for them when they don't have him players like that are hard to come by but there is a player that i think it might have the potential to be able to do that uh and that name is Federico Redondo. Now, it's another South American um, playing for Argentinos Juniors in Argentina, um, defensive midfielder. He's a big boy, 188 centimetres tall, uh, 20 years of age. And he's got the fundamentals that are crucial for a central midfielder. Um, he's got the basics to reach those elite levels. He's got uh, being able to execute um against all caliber of opponent uh it's a valuable asset that you can have in football and he's got all of them uh to quote johan cruyff football is simple but it's difficult to play simple and redondo has got the ability a little bit like menu has got at the moment doing very simple things but looking fantastic doing them um being able to do the simple things to a high level is is true mastery of the sport and i think that's what you get out of this young man um, you get a, the simple fundamentals done well. Um, main strength, awareness. You know, he's he's got so much time on the ball. Again, a trait that I, I, I see in Kobe Menu as well. Um, no coincidence. Um, and it's nothing to do with the league that he's in. That awareness will translate to any league in the world if you watch him carefully he's always scanning always making small adjustments to his not just his position but also his body shape within that position so he can receive the ball from whoever's got it shielding the ball if he needs to taking it on the back foot being able to take a touch out of his feet move the ball forward it's elite level of um, mastery of the ball and he's got it and that's what makes him look so simple doing it um you know he's got that bus gets air going on with him as well and his game is all about finding creating and then entering space for himself and whether that's holding his position staying still sprinting into space changing the directions of the runs or the, those ball rolls um he's he's got all of that and those are going names familiar his dad was a bit of a baller as well um so he's definitely got the right sort of pedigree and heritage to to come to europe and make a big name for himself as well um and his awareness makes him read the game really well. And maybe it's that pedigree that makes him make the exceptional footballing decisions that he makes. He sees the game uh, at an advanced level for his age. Defensive midfielder, like centre-half, is a, a position that tends to develop late on in the career because they have to get experience doing it. And the ones that stand out, like a Maynou, um potentially like a Redondo, like a, a young Clarence Sadoff or a young Roy Keane, it's because they see things before everybody else is seeing them. His physique gives him the mobility and the strength um, of someone a lot shorter, blesses him with big recovery pace, which I think is something that would really suit him well in the Premier League. He's got the perfect physical profile for being a mobile, dual-winning, aerially dominant, ball-playing, complete number six. Uh, the difference between him and Busquets, I would say, is that Busquets wasn't blessed with the athleticism. Um, 
And obviously another son of a famous father who went on and had an incredible game because of maybe the game intelligence that his father has helped teach him. But Busquets wasn't quick and Redondo is quick. Um, that slower pace for Busquets meant that he had to make better use of his awareness and, and better decisions and execute them to a better degree to everybody else, uh, which is what he did. But you get that with the athleticism in Redondo. Um, he's also got range, which I think is something that you need. I, I like seeing players that can take the ball from one side of the pitch and switch it dangerously to the other side of the pitch, whether that's you know, uh, you know a simple switch or a through ball or a line-breaking pass. He can do it, and he can do it off both feet. Like the, This kid's football and education has been done to a ridiculously high degree. Um, already elite in ball progression, both passing, passing and dribbling of the ball. Underrated in terms of his defensive reading of the game. He's got that unreal level of maturity. Destined to be one of the great number sixes in the near future. Um, and coming through Argentina's uh, youth system as well, certainly not going to hurt him because there is an expectation that comes through when you're an Argentinian footballer that you're going to hit the top level. Um, and so I think he's going to be used to that expectation immediately. Um, and an important skill that was undoubtedly taught to him by uh, his father, Fernando, is the scan prior to receiving the ball. He knows where he is, identifies where he is in relation to everybody else before getting the ball. So he already knows where he's going to pass it as he receives it. That puts you two, three steps ahead of everybody else. And, and that means that you can play quickly and simply. Um, and that's why this kid looks so good. And that composure... Uh, as well as the physical presence that he's already got, gives him like a like an aura and a presence on the pitch, uh, which is weird for someone so young. And every game, you'll see the maturity because he's leading and dictating to his teammates. I think he's a really, really exciting prospect. And I think he's one that everybody needs to start looking out for. Um, I don't know where his future lies. It's going to be at the top of the footballing game somewhere. Um and call me old-fashioned, I'd like to see it in a United shirt if uh, it was on the cards. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this one that we should be looking at? Do you think he could do it for United? See you in a bit. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.